Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited. I currently have 20 books checked out. I most of the time have 20 books checked out on Kindle Unlimited. So here are all 20 of them. <laughs> I should probably like comb through this and like pick and choose some, but like it's a very hard thing for me to return a KU book because they're like poof, it disappears from my brain and I forget it exists. Um, okay, so we're just gonna go randomly. Um, first is The Wraith King by Juliet Cross. This one recently came out. I am so excited. My friends who have read this are already raving about it. Like this cover, yeah. Um, and the title, Wraith Kings, reminds me of Rainians by Grace Draven. And it kind of like gives me those vibes a little bit, but maybe darker. I think this dark demon prince will stop this war if like the light fae will give him the princess and I think that's our heroine so that's all I really know but um yeah I can't wait to dive into that one I think I want to start that like this weekend it is pretty long at like 450 pages so we'll see when I get to it but like I just got that one it looks so good Healer to the Ash King by Rebecca F. Kenny is next I've been reading her backlist I just honestly saw the title Healer to the Ash King and god Rebecca F. Kenny is becoming one of my favorite fantasy romance authors I really enjoy her books and like all of them are on Kindle Unlimited so it looks like a young healer with water powers is hired to serve the capital during the calling of the favored which is a competition where the king will choose his bride she meets the fire wielding ash king all she can think about is removing him from power by any means necessary until his unexpected attraction to her complicates everything so it's like a hate to love romance oh it says in here basically the hunger games cross with the selection I love both of those, so yeah. Our Beam Me Up book club pick for September was The Orc and the Innkeeper by Cora Crane. We haven't read this one yet, or I haven't read this one yet, because our live show is on October 11th, I'm pretty sure. So I'm waiting to read this until I'm closer to that date, but it looks really good, like Orc and Innkeeper. <laughs> So cute and cozy looking. I of course already have some Halloween books. This is Halloween Next Door by Flora Ferrari. This is an older man, younger woman romance. It's a short novel, like 150 pages of like, I think on Halloween of two like neighbors getting together in this small town. And he is her professor. So very forbidden, but I don't know how like Halloween is gonna get put into that. I'm excited. The Scattered Bones by Nicole Scarano is next. This is a dark fantasy romance. This is one that's been on my library for a while. <laughs> it's probably been on a few of these videos because um, it looks so good. I just have to be in the right mindset to like read a fantasy book. And sometimes my brain is just like, I wanna read a Cassie Mint novella or just a K novella instead. <laughs> when a mysterious man only known as the stranger promises to return Kate to her, Selah is tasked with finding each of her love's scattered bones. His severed body hidden in the darkest corners of the realm, the quest is an impossible task, yet she must make the dangerous journey alone using only her own faith and fight. But the tasks at hand are brutal, their battles not won easily. Well, I didn't even know that's what that was about. She has to find her lover's bones. That is wild. A Gargoyle's Delight by Naomi Lucas and Mel Braxton is my next one. Um, this is obviously a gargoyle um, romance. I saw this book actually in like physical format when I was book shopping with Riley from Riley Marie. And like, I was like, oh my gosh, I should buy that because no one ever has monster romances. But I'm like, you know what? It's on KU. So let's read it first. So I did that, but I haven't even picked it up yet. <laughs> I need to. I love gargoyle romances, so I hope I love this one. I love Beyond the Stars by Jennifer Chipman is one that's also been on my library for a while. <laughs> um, this one is a sci-fi romance, and I think it's about two people who work in the same space station. No, they were on the same spaceship. Space station and ship are two different things, um, but I think they're going to be doing like a quest together in space and trying to find something. But it looks really good. I haven't read a lot of like sci-fi romances without aliens in them. Vengeful Dreams by Alexa Michaels is the book I'm currently reading. This is a dark mafia romance and I think our hero is a mafia boss in Chicago and the heroine is kind of like a hacker but also a ballerina and she basically breaks into his apartment that's how it starts out that i remember breaks into his apartment and is like hey your company by the way has a lot of like holes in it and like a lot of people can like find out all your information your like tech people are stupid and he's like okay how about i hire you what do you want to exchange like why did you come to me with this, inf this information and she's like i want you to kill the man who killed my sister so they have this like deal going on and I think they fall in love. I don't know. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but I'm excited. I've been in the dark mafia mood. Sunshine Kisses by Kelly L. Clark 
is a childhood best friends to lovers romance. I got this recommendation from Aspasia. I'll link her channel down below. I really love her. This one's about Abigail who has spent her life searching for approval, acceptance, and validation from her parents, from academia, and from herself. The only person she feels entirely at ease with is her best friend. Three things truly matter to Eric Larson, the environment, his family, and his best friend since childhood. In a world that constantly places stress on his mind and body, Abby has always been his quiet haven from the noise. Constant companions since they were born two weeks apart 25 years ago, it's always been them against the world through mental health issues, family struggles, and and across large distances and they've always had each other's backs to everyone around them they're a perfect match although they've spent years insisting they're just friends so they have to spend a week in close proximity during a holiday with their respective and ever so slightly meddling families the connection that has always existed between them begins to heat up but will attention between them reaches boiling point will ghosts from their long history threaten to tear them apart so I especially loved it, so I think I'm going to. The Weaver and Her Orc is my next one. This one's by Serena Song. This one's about a cursed weaver. Shaylin must learn to trust her magic herself and her mate. So, so it's her her mate, got it. It's insta-love slash lust, D&D style journey, and there's size difference. I just need to know size difference, like, yeah. <laughs> the Duke and I by Stacey Reed is uh, my next book. It's the second book in her Forever Yours series, which is uh, a historical romance series that I've read one or two books from, if I'm not mistaken. The first one, the heroine was visually impaired. And so I just want to continue on with the series because I do love Stacey Reed's books and not all of them, not all of them are on Kindle Unlimited. It looks like this is a brother's best friend romance where the heroine who is a wallflower with no decent prospects has to seduce a notorious duke at the masquerade ball. I love masquerade ball romances, so I want to read that one like right now. <laughs> Next is Halfling by S.E. Wendell. B from Mom and East Ro Read Romance. Loves this book, loves this author. It looks so good. It's just so intimidatingly long. It's 465 pages. I have to like commit to that. Um, all I know is that this is like an orc romance and I think she's like a witch or a healer or something, but I'm going into that one blind because it looks so good. Worded by the Dragon by Lillian Lark is one that's been on my TBR for a very long time. <laughs> um, I love her monster romances and it also has like the pregnancy trope, which I love. So I don't know why I haven't picked this one up yet. I think I read a chapter and then I put it down because a new release came out that I was excited for. So I need to freaking get to this one, but I think it's a dragon shifter and her like have this one night together and uh, she ends up pregnant from it. So I wonder how that's gonna go, but I always love her Monstrous Matches series. Lost in the Wild by Cassie Mint is also on this list. I have a Cassie Mint book, obviously. I always have a Cassie Mint book available for me to read because sometimes I just want like a short, cute little novella to read. So it looks like this is the first book in the Huddling for Warmth series. And it looks like he's kind of like a cave man. He's a wounded wild man and a girl who heals his grumpy heart. So cute. Her books are so short though. Um, this one's 91 pages, so. The Marquess's Adventurous Miss by Ava Bond is next. I've chatted with Ava for a little bit and she told me about her books and I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I don't even remember what it's about, but I immediately got it. This one's about an embittered noble bent on revenge and a vicar's daughter with a heart of gold in a romance neither of them expected, but cannot resist the daughter of a vicar. That would be interesting. A Polar Expedition by Cass O'Shire is my next one. I got this one because Tiffany loves book number two, which is an orc romance. And I'm like, okay, I gotta read book number one. And I think he's a bear shifter. That's the hero. And it's like a cozy book. So I might want to read this one. It's like the colder fall seasons when it's like getting like really cozy. Another one to read during like the more holiday season is Tis the Season for Revenge by Morgan Elizabeth. I think I just got this one because I'm going to be meeting her at a book signing um next year and I just want to like get on her backlist and like read some of her books and I've heard really good things about this one I think this is like an ex's boss romance and she goes wants to go to the like holiday party that her ex never invited her to then I have a few books that I've already read so Serpents of Sky and Flame I need to return this one um I read this one it's in my September wrap-up. I really enjoyed it. It's a dragon fantasy romance. That was so good. I loved that one by Rebecca F. Kenny. And then I also read Fae Divided by Lisa Ray Roman, which is book number 1.5 in this um, paranormal romance series that I really enjoyed as well. And then my last one is Den of Vipers by Katie Knight, which I have been slowly reading for quite a long time. We'll see if I actually finish this one, but this is a very popular, um, like, why choose dark romance. So we'll see if I actually finish this one. I haven't picked it up in a few months, so... I just have it there in case I ever have the fancy to pick it up. But this one is very notoriously known for being 
bizarre. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all the books that I currently have checked out on Kindle Unlimited. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you have any recommendations of books that I should pick up on Kindle Unlimited, I would love to know. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me. What emoji should we do? Let's do any green emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see you all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.